Well, we are back on a Wednesday morning with Matthew Waits, nutritionist with Prairie Band Potawatomi Nation. Matthew, good morning. Good morning. Always great to have you with Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Uh, now, I love this time of year, the, the cooler temperatures that are coming soon, hopefully. Right. Yeah, the, the colors and, of course, the food. The food is oh. what's my favorite. Yes. Okay. Besides the candy and <laughs> all the good. spooky treats, uh, what we have here is my eight fall picks for your plate. Okay. So <clears throat> we're in luxury because we have food that's ripe all year round, okay? So what we have here today is some beets, okay? Did you know that you can actually eat the whole beet? You can eat... Get out. Yeah, you can really? eat the plant. Uh-huh. I did not know that. You can saute it, uh, just like a leafy green. And then if you cut it open, you can bake it, put it in chips. You can actually use it as a pre-workout. Beet juice has nitrous oxide, so it extends the blood vessels, so if you don't want to take any supplements, that would be a good workout. Well, there you go. Uh, we have some spaghetti squash. My favorite thing with that is cut it right down the middle, olive oil, throw in the oven, and then make a little bit of pasta with pesto. Yeah, That's hey, the kids so don't good. even have to know. No, they really don't. <laughs> And I was just talking about David about mashed potatoes because he uses cauliflower mashed potatoes. Oh, yes, and I'm yeah. not a cauliflower person, but I do like parsnips. Parsnips, if you take them down, wash them, cut them up, and then you boil them, they turn into a really nice mashed potato. I hate to say, I don't know that I've ever really? tried a parsnip. Oh, so good. It kind of looks like, like a, a carrot. I was going to say, it looks like a white carrot. Right, same family from the <laughs> carrot. Uh, it has the snap too, and it's really beautiful on the inside. Oh, and it okay. tastes really good. Another thing is, and you can smell that flavor. It's a, kind of like a yeah. ginger. Um, is sweet potatoes. Ah, uh, love potatoes. sweet potatoes. Right. You can get those all year round. You can cut them up, put them in turkey, uh, and make it like a hash with it, with a fried egg on top, and it's a really good healthy diet. Ooh, or sweet potato fries. Yeah, sweet potato yeah. fries. Yeah. Did you know they'll never? The sweet potato fries will never be crunchy because of all the sugar that's in them. Okay. So that's why they're always soggy. I did yeah. not know that. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing is uh, pears. Red pears, these have tons of fiber and really good for you. And how you can tell if they're really ripe and ready is towards the stem. If they're really soft at the stem, that means they're ripe okay. and ready. Okay. Well, this one feels pretty good yeah. then. Yeah. So actually, one of these is six grams of fiber. And we suggest that a healthy serving of fiber is three grams or more. Nice. So it's really good. Another thing is kale. Okay. There's tons of stuff you can do with kale. Uh, kale, you can make chips, you can put it in broths, you can put it in soups, you can bake it. Nice, fun little treat, right? Fun Isn't and it? healthy, yeah. That's right. Uh, cranberries. cranberries. Love cranberries. Oh, wonderful. Yes. They have a flavonoid that actually helps uh, your bladder. Uh, so if you have a toxin that tries to stick to your bladder, it actually helps defend that. Wonderful. And protect your bladder. Another thing is pumpkin. My personal favorite. <laughs> pumpkin spice, right? Everything uh, nice, yep. <laughs> I've been craving a lot of stuff from Starbucks. Anyways, so this is really good. It's really sweet, tons of fiber, vitamin A and vitamin K, okay? Really good for the eyes. So what we have here is next time you cook it, put a little bit of sage, cinnamon, or Ooh. curry, and really good. That sounds good. You know, I grow pumpkins every year or attempt to. Yeah. Um, this year I had one. <laughs> <laughs> they used to be so good to, or so easy to grow, but yeah. this year I had one. Aww. I'll keep trying though. Oh, well, you can have two now. Yeah, <laughs> you <go>. thank you. <laughs> okay, and last but not least. Last but not least is acorn squash. Really pretty. This is really good if you put it in broths and soups. Okay. Cut it down, put it in it as a stock, and it's really good. Or you can bake it. Okay, well, yep. we are almost out of time, Matthew. Do you have any uh, quick advice for us on where we can find good, nutritious recipes for Your these? farmer's market. Farmer's market, yep. yes. Farmer's market to get all the produce and eatright.org is a really good nutritional website that us nutritionists and di uh, registered dietitians use. All right, well, enjoy those fall flavors out there, Matthew. Absolutely. Thanks for being with us Thank today. You. And David, we'll let you take it from here.